Hi, I am Deepak Jacob Thomas. Today's session I will be explaining with the help of an Excel the forecasting part for demand and capacity calculation. Here in the capacity cal planning part we will we'll learn about how to use Excel to forecast the demand for few years, demand required to meet the forecast, measure the current capacity, decide the shortfall in the capacity in the near future that can be bridge demand and business goal to be analyzed. You're watching my channel DJ Thomas Edge World. I'm Deepak Jacob Thomas. Moving on to Excel spreadsheet. I have a data few data entered here that is number of years in column and the processing demand value for those years in units that is this value will be my observed outcome which is already done now I will enter few values for next five years of forecasting I will begin with serial number 11 12 13 14 and 15 here I consider for 5 years to find the forecasted value for demand for next 5 years. First step, let's select the data that is observed outcome for first 10 years. Go for insert. In insert, choose a scatter plot graph and choose a scatter with only markers then go for layout then go for trend line go for more options more trend line options here make sure the linear is selected likewise the display equation on the chart is checked with a tick also the display r square value on the chart is checked with a tick and close what happens is that we get an equation arrived in the scatter plot graph with this equation we will find the forecasted units for next five years the equation is y is equal to 112.9 x plus 5565 and we get an r square is equal to 0 0.209 r square is nothing but the coefficient of determination it shows what degree the performance can be attributed and how well a line fits that means an r square of 0 0.209 since we choose a line to be linear the accuracy of forecasting will be based on the our past previous data and we can achieve a forecast with 29 percent accuracy let's move on to the part with forecasting demand for next few years 112.9 into x x value is nothing but for the 11th year plus 5565 and enter and let's propagate it down we get the forecast units for future for next five years with this scatter plot graph we can arrive a data where we can find what will be our forecasted units for next five years considering the previous outcome or the absurd values of 10 years now for further analysis I'll just drag this scatter plot graph down I have for evaluation data I have few entries to be done I will consider the processing time per unit is half an hour so I'll enter 0 0.5 and work and working hours per day is 8 that means per one eight hours is one shift number of weeks working per year is 52 weeks now working hour in a week 
I will consider as four working days equals eight hours into four. That means thirty two hours I work a week. Then what will be the total available hours in a year? It will be equals number of weeks in a year fifty two into weekly working hours into thirty two will give you one six six four. Now we get a value that our available hour is only one six six four per year. Now we have found out the forecasted demand for next five years. We will find how many hours is required to complete this forecasted demand. I will enter the heading of forecasted demand. Forecast demand. Now time required. will be equals the forecasted demand units into 0 0.5 since our units processing time is half an hour we are considered 0 0.5 and give enter and let's propagate the formula down before that I will log this G sign for absolute cell referencing F4 by dollar sign and I'll propagate it down. Now I get a time required for processing say six in the 11th year 6869 units it requires is 3403 hours. From this data let's see how many units or how many shifts is required to achieve this equals this forecasted time divided by the total available hours per year. This G11 also I will lock for absolute, absolute cell referencing. I will press F4 and lock it so that it does not move here and there. Now I get a value 2.043. I will just propagate it down. Here we can find that to achieve a demand of this, with this required time, number of shifts per year should be worked with two shifts to achieve the same. And this is how with a forecast of previous data, that is our observed outcome of 10 years data, we come to a conclusion that this will be or this might be our forecast demand for next five years based on this parameters say or uh, operation units opera working hours and number of working hours per week we will find total available hours from this total available hours we will find out the time required to process the demand and from this we can find how much how many shifts is required in a year in a continuous manner to achieve the demand of the forecasted demand. This is how we use a capacity planning to forecast unit and time required. Thank you for watching my channel. Signing off Deepak Jacob Thomas.